Okay, so hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you all the things that we've been working on for this update on our platform. So I'll be showing you how the changes are in Discord and on the website. So I'll be showing you how to, you know, link your account and use all the new stuff. If you guys are, you know, not sure about how it works or what's going on, this video will explain that to you. So let's get to the video. Okay, so on our website, we have the different portals, such as the student portal, where you can access tickets and commissions and stuff. And we're also going to go into learning paths later this video. And then we also have now the uh, account.dapodino, which is essentially where you do all your logins. Currently, this looks a bit odd. It's, you know, identity so forth. that doesn't matter. Basically, we haven't had time to rebrand it to be our, you know, theme and colors and stuff. So it's just going to look like this for now. But don't worry, you know, this is to do with us. It's not just some random other website. We also have the teacher portal for those who apply to be the teacher role, but this video is going to be focused mainly just on students. So you guys are students, and if you join our server, uh, you will only have access to the welcome channels, the important ones, and the off-topic ones. Because now um, all our help things and tickets and applications, that's all to do with us, right, on our platform. So we thought it makes more sense to actually create an account with us to be able to use those in Discord rather than the other way around, which is to use our systems on our website, like tickets on our website, you have to have a Discord account. Because what if we want to expand to other platforms like Skype or Google Home or, I mean, Skype's not a great example. We're probably not going to do that. But you get the point, Google Home. We might have um, an app, for example. We want it so you have an account with us and then you can use all the external platforms. So think of Discord as just like an add-on, right? You can use Discord if you want with our platform. You don't have to, you know, people can, you can still use our website without Discord. It's just an option. So... For example, you can use tickets, right? We have tickets or whatever. Now, in the server, you'll notice we don't have many... Uh, let me go to the welcome, for example. We don't have many students right now because what's happened is we've removed removed the student role and we've... Uh, the people who've got it so far, there's the 16 online now and then obviously there's some of us up here and there's people who are offline that now have it. But what, what happens is um, when you create an account with us, so you go across to register, so there'll be links below, I'll put below the video. You go to register, you can make your thing, your email, your password, so on, right? You register, you make an account, and then you end up here on this page, and it'll show you you're logged in, obviously. And then once you're logged in, you can go on to manage external logins, and you can add a service. Now, currently we only have Discord as a service, but you notice how in the server, my roles, um, I have a headmaster and nitro booster. So nitro booster, you can't really get rid of anyway. That's always going to be there. And then headmaster is, um, because it's a higher role than the bot, it can't do anything about that. So it stays there. But all my other roles are gone because I purposely unlinked my account before this video. So imagine you've, you've logged in, you've made your account, and then you want to add your Discord account. So it's as simple as press this button, press authorize, and then go look back in Discord. And if we just wait a second, you'll notice that my roles will start appearing back. There you go. So... Now I have all these roles and because of some rate limit, basically, it, do it doesn't do them all at once. So you might get some of them and then you get the rest like in a minute or 10 seconds. There you go. Look, boom, they're all done. Um, so now I have student and this is what happens to you guys. So when you make an account and link it to your Discord account, the bot will actually give you the student role. And if you're a teacher or whatever, it'll give you your other roles too, like uh, the language or the teacher role or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, you only get synced if you're online when the bot turns on or when you come online afterwards right so if you currently have an account already linked some people already had their account linked when you turn your uh, when you come online on discord or send a message or whatever it'll sync you uh, and you'll get your role if you've got any problems obviously ask in the server but that's how it works now so by getting the student role you can now go and make commands right so you can go into the uh, tickets channel and make a ticket i've got an explanation here about a thing ignore that message it's not actually there discord's just been a bit weird it's not actually there no one else can see that message um probably have to reopen discord or something but anyway yeah so that's how you link with discord it's really simple and now that allows you to do stuff through the website so for example in the student portal you can go to ticket create a ticket you can fill in the stuff for your ticket you can describe your problem you can choose a language or whatever whatever and you can create a ticket and then it goes ahead and makes it now um if we go over to discord you notice how it made a ticket channel it sent this message and i got a dm from the bot saying congratulations your thing's been made okay so we can actually use the website to make stuff happen in the server now. Uh, and if you sent a message in the server, it would appear on here in the reactions. And you can also send a message here. It should be working. Some of this uh, UI needs fixing. Um, but we are going to get to that. That's our current job right now for the next few days. But yeah, you see, I sent a message on the website as Dapper Dino. I said, hey, uh, um, when you make your account, your name uh, by default, actually, no, you have to make a username when you log in. But if you guys already have an account, your username profiles will be uh set to a default thing so i've set mine to dapper dino you just click on profile set it to dapper dino if you go to leaderboards we haven't actually got xp for anyone yet but uh you'll notice how loads of people are just called change your username then uh, we've got dapper dino 
Max Morris, you know, we've got some people who've already changed their usernames. So when you make an account, it's fine if you're making a fresh account, but if you already have an account, like all these people who already have accounts, you'll have to change your username. Um, okay, when you like log back in, you change it there. There you go. And yeah, we've got all the other uh, systems. I don't need to show you all these. These have been here for ages. It's simple as create suggestion. And then we on the internal teacher team, the Dapper team, we can see all your suggestions. Um, now, learning paths is the main new thing I wanted to mention. So we can now add learning paths as teachers. So if you go to learning path items, here are all the learning path items that there are. Now we're going to add filtering and searching and stuff, but this is just all of them dumped into a list, right? So you can look through all the resources individually. And here are learning paths, which are essentially pre-made paths of those uh, articles. So if someone wants to make a new path from those articles, this is only on the internal team where we make them. But you as a student can look at all of them now. These are both C-sharp.net stuff. We'll end up having, as I said, filtering and searching so you guys can look for whatever language you want and see if we have any articles on it. So let's go to uh, C Sharp 101 view. Then it basically we've explained like why we want to include it, what language it's for. And then down here, you can basically see the different steps and you can go, for example, what is C Sharp view? And then we basically explain, you know, why we've added this thing. Here's the actual link to it. And here's the credits. We haven't obviously filled some of these things in yet for like who, who it's for, who gives some credits. Now, obviously you can click this link and see, okay, yeah, it's some Microsoft video about uh, C Sharp. With this, currently we only have external articles. So all the learning path items will be external articles that we can like tell you to go read and stuff. Eventually, in the next update and so on, we're gonna add our own articles. So we can mix and match between having external articles, internal articles that we write, we can have videos, whatever, right? We're gonna add to this so we can have these learning path items be actually like different things. Also, one thing to know right now, it does say the order they're meant to be in, 109, 209, 309, uh, but obviously there's some bugs like I don't know if make, if we just copy paste that wrong, but it's a four of nineteen. Um, actually, wait, no. Apparently, yeah, it's not in order. If I go to learning path items, here, one of nineteen, seventeen of nineteen, sixty. So if it goes one, and obviously you have to go down and find two. It's a bit inconvenient right now, but we are working on it. This is what we're developing right now. We just want to let you guys know what we've been working on. You guys can start using it as we start to improve it. I just want to show you how to link your account, get it set up. It's very easy, you know, to make an account. And you do that. Um, when you log into one portal and you go to another portal like teacher and you click log in one thing you used to have to do is you have to log in again but now all you have to do is just basically say yep i allow and then we get redirected and then you'll be able to use the teacher portal and you're actually logged in here um, and one other little thing to know is when you do a command in discord now so if i go to the tickets and i want to make a ticket in discord it looks like this so we make it go to ticket it dms me saying please go to dms to make a ticket you have to be logged in so i'll click the login link and i just have to basically copy paste this from my url press submit allow we're going to automate this to make it a bit faster but um now once you've been authorized and you go back oopsie daisy notice how the discord bot says um it starts doing the dialogue for your ticket enter the title right i'm just going to copy paste this that's my title and here's my description uh which language i want to make a c sharp a unity please wait we'll process your ticket Ticket was created successfully. Here it is, 2607. You can actually go to the ticket, hopefully. Yep, here's the ticket. And if I go back to Discord, you'll notice how the ticket channel was made for my ticket. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was hopefully quite short um, so that you guys can understand how to use it and feel free to ask any questions in the server. Um, if there's anything I didn't cover and you want to know more about, feel free to ask as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Please try using our service, go make an account, just, you know, give feedback as well so we can add new stuff and fix things. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.